Hello, lads. Wait. Something's off. Holy shit. I'm white! <gasps> but anyway, I'm Yor, and today i got a very special review for you all. I'm here to review the Thompson Class 385 released with the Glasgow Queen Street to Dunblane and a lower route. Oh, and because I'm not very familiar with Class 385s, I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want. Let's begin with a bit of history. The Class 385 is an electric multiple unit built by Detachi. <coughs> sorry, Hitachi. It is part of the AT200 family. A total of 70 units have been built for Scott Rail, split between three and four car units. They were introduced to replace the following trains, 156, 158, 170, 314, and the Class 365. <laughs> lines that I see BA to say and that's all the information you're getting from me. Alright, the model. It's alright, could be better, but it worked. I do like the livery, they did a good job with that, but the model is still mid. They were kind enough to give us an external interior, but fucking hell, okay, I need to talk about the sounds. So, if we stand outside the train you hear this awful noise, which I assume is the inverter or maybe the AC hum. I don't fucking know. The doors, they did quite well on. But they do close a bit too quickly for my liking. Maybe it's like that in real life. I'm not too sure. Now there is the cab setup. TPWS and AWS operational. Pretty cool where you have to insert the master key, but other than that, the AWS horn just sounds off, and that is the worst Scottish accent I've ever heard. Now, moving on to the motor. I'm just not gonna say anything. I think you're all smart enough to tell me that it sounds wrong. I will admit, it sounds better than some other trains that Thompson has made, but still wrong. The run sounds are horrific and the horn, well I can't really say about the horn, I've never heard it and I can't be asked to look it up. Now we have the cab sounds. Oh, for fuck's sakes, that reverser and throttle is taken from the fucking Kuju Class 450. Just listen. Well, give me a second, I just need to bleach my eardrums and down a bottle of Baileys. And that desk display is just not it. It's cool that you can see it on the inside as well, but it's just not that guy. You're not that guy. Oh, and <laughs> if you get laid in the PRM toilet, I'll give you a hundred quid. Oh, and the cab has this interesting feature where you can shut the doors and make it look ready to couple to another unit. It's cool, but when you have your cab FOV set to the highest, it looks horrible. Actually, this cab looks horrible anyway with this FOV. So, all in all, this train is trash, and I wouldn't recommend driving it. If you're gonna drive this route, use the 170 or 365. <laughs> but if you really want to drive the 385, just play Train Sim World. Oh, and apparently it has automated announcements. Yeah, don't care, mate. Yeah, fuck this, I'm gonna go play Overwatch. <laughs> 